Hello and welcome. Shortcut 1904.30 has a lot of new stuff. We're gonna look at the filters mainly. So let's just drag in a clip and check out the grid filter. Just gonna type in grid. Here we go. And this one is great for zoom transitions. Let's see, columns 100%, 20. Okay. What about uh, 5%? So five is double, 10 is triple. And we can keyframe this. This is this ought to be interesting. Let's uh, try that. Uh, let's keyframe it here and this one as well. Now, where are those keyframes? Can we add, I guess we have to change a value. All right, let's take a look what this looks like. Ah, yes, yes. Shortcut has this problem, in my opinion, that it has the center at the top left corner. It should really have a center in the center. But I guess this is not how this is supposed to be used. So never mind. Never mind about that. And let's actually try to use this for a transition. Let me just, uh, let me just get rid of this entire thing. Gonna add this and gonna add this. All right, let's add the filter again. Grid. And grid again. Okay. Okay, this is a horrible utilization of this effect uh, filter. So let's just get rid of that and get to the next filter. Let's uh, add some audio dance visualization to this. In filters, audio dance visualization and let's just look at the defaults so it adds a lot of shake let's reduce the threshold all right and we can also make it shake up and down and left and right and also rotate and we can make it less aggressive or more aggressive let's see oscillation to low that seems to be more aggressive how about oscillation to high nope that's the more aggressive one we can also set the audio frequency range that affects this. And we can change the initial zoom. Let's see, how does this feel? On top of that, we can add audio light visualization. Audio light. And this adds flashing lights to the screen. At least one. Let's disable the dance visualization. Here we go. Okay, it's a bit hard to see because of the other lights in the screen. But here we go. It also re reacts to different frequencies. And you can also set the oscillation. Oh yeah, a low value is really nice here. Let's check out the next filter. There is a RGB shift. Hmm, this ought to be nice. So let's add filters plus RGB shift. And it looks kind of funky. Neat. Let's uh, keyframe this one. That ought to look good. So we're going to set this to 0% is the maximum. Weird. Let's set it to 100. Oh, never mind. It's just okay. It's just uh, off center, so to speak. So let's uh, set the keyframes here. We just did that, I think. So let's uh, set them here as well. 
to the opposite. And here we go. That's certainly cool. Next one is glitch. G L I CH. Let's check out with the. Whoa, that is pretty aggressive. Let's lower the frequency. I don't know why it says percentage. Okay, 7%. 100%. Oh my! <laughs> And block height, yeah, let's reduce the height. Ah, that's nicer. Shift intensity, how about maximizing this? Color intensity? Shift intensity. Okay, so we have two types. We have blocks that make the color go round and blocks that make the position of the image go round. So you gotta really figure out what kind of effect you need. It certainly is not an appropriate effect for this kind of scene. Man, this is crazy. And now let's check out Distort. What do we have here? Just some waves. This ought to look good here, so let's go to plus and Distort. Does this react to audio? I don't think it does. It's just wobbly like crazy. Okay, zero is nothing. Eleven is quite a bit. These percentage settings are a bit strange, but fair enough. Yeah, that kind of adds to the wind noise in the background. Velocity lower. Oh, much nicer. Kind of looks like fake, I mean, it kind of looks like what civilization does to videos, to be honest. Oh, and you can make it like this. By adding more fre frequency to it. Interesting. So what else was added is a higher zoom setting here. We can zoom up to 1000 in here. This is uh, useful for, I don't know, checking out details. You can also change the draw method in settings, display method. There is now software Mesa, which Mesa, Mesa, which might work on some computers. This might make it possible to use shortcut on computers that otherwise cannot run it, but it will be horribly slow. Let's see. Okay, this is not horribly slow. Curious. Let's just set this back to DirectX. And then there's the Norwegian Njorsk language, which is added new. And that's it for the main changes in Shotcut 1904.30. Have fun with it. Until next time, ciao!